Okay guys, so what I have here is a 2006 270 Sun Deck Sea Ray. She's been sitting out in the sun for about 12, 15 years now and not been detailed. You can see I did a test pass. It came out pretty nice. This is just 2000 and a little bit of compound and I just went ahead and put that on there with the buffer and that's two nice little passes with that buffer. So basically uh, you can see what I'm doing is I'm taping everything off because I don't want compound to build up residually over top of any of my chrome or any of my aluminum pieces. So I'll be covering that up with painter's tape and then I'll make my finish work a lot easier so I won't have anything to wipe off. Um, basically this is gonna be getting a full two-stage setup where I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a, a wet, wet sand with 2000 grit and then I'll be going ahead and compounding it. And then I also will be doing a finish wax, so I guess it'd technically be a three stage. I'm gonna make this thing shine, it's gonna be nice and pretty when it's done. So follow along with me and watch as I make this thing look nice.
So you're gonna see that line right there. This is where I did my test buff, which I did a full thousand wet sand and then a full 2000 wet sand, then two passes of compound. So that's what that looks like afterwards and also after having water you know, sprayed on it and blah, blah, blah. This is basically one pass of 2000, one pass of compound, and it's still coming out pretty blurry. So I'm gonna be alternating to probably 600 grit on these harder sections, 2000 to 2000. All right guys, so I've gotten from right here down, all polished, and it's looking pretty good. So now, how do you go from cloudy like it was to looking like this? Not very easy. And about three to four days worth of work just to get to this point on just that little red spot. So I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm working on the other side now. So I'm gonna walk around to the other side and I'll show you guys what I got going. All right, so right here, You'll see that I already have some spots that appear swirls and sand marks and such. And I've got my DA sander right here. So what I'm doing is I'm walking down the whole boat with a bottle of water because I got hard water here so it would stay in the boat if I run my hose on it. But if you got city water at your house and you got a hose then you can probably just use the hose. So you go ahead and you take this DA sander and right now I've got 800 grit on it, but I've been told by other uh, detailers that they go as low as 600 to be more aggressive, especially with stuff that looks like this. You know, it's very, very, very chalky. So <clears throat> I wet, wet sand the whole thing, wipe all the uh, excess off, and then I'm gonna go to 1,000 grit sandpaper by hand, 2,000 grit sandpaper by hand, and then from there I go to compound with the buffer, which is what I was doing before. Now, I learned something new today. I was using a really, really old bottle of wax on this boat. That was from about 2020. It's about three years old at this point. And it wasn't doing the work that it was supposed to do. It was coming back cloudy, coming back cloudy every single time that I would buff it. So I went and I bought myself a nice new bottle of wax or uh, compound and now it's coming out nice and pretty like the other side of the boat is. So, you know, keep this in mind. If you have old product around your house, that it's not gonna work, given that it's probably three or four years old and hit its expiration date. Look at that, that's a mirror. You can see the ground. So, I'll show you guys what I'm using at the moment. So this is my finish wax, which this side over here has 800 grit, 1000 grit, 2000 grit, compound, and then we'll go ahead and do the three in one liquid wax, which has a ceramic coating built into it. But we're using Meguiar's one step compound first to go ahead and get rid of all that oxidation and bring the shine back. And that has a polish in it, so it is bringing it to a shine. But that three in one is going to ensure that you lock in all this from being able to go back to oxidizing again. So basically, I'm going to try to get a time lapse of the other side. And then I'll also show you guys as I start to do the top side. But not so bad, considering that this boat's been sitting in the sun for 12 years. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Something that I forgot to add in is that when we're doing this three-in-one wax, we're doing it with a finished foam pad. This foam pad by TCP basically makes sure that you don't leave any streak marks behind on the finish. With the wool pad that I'm using to cut and compound, it picks up a lot of color and it picks up a lot of dirt and it will leave behind small streak marks if you try to use your finish wax with it. All right, guys, we're back here on a different morning. I've been struggling with my other side of the boat, which is somewhat finished, but for some reason, you notice when it's brought up close, 
it's still kind of giving me quite a bit of cloudiness. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna walk away from this side for a second. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try something that was recommended to me by Deep Blue Shine. Big shout out to Brian Reyes. Basically, I'm gonna go to, down to a 600 grid sandpaper and I'm gonna be using one of these foam wheels on my orbital. So basically, I'm gonna do this all with the assistance of wet sanding, so it's gonna constantly be wet. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to take all this chalk down on this side and do exactly the same thing as I did on the other side with compound and wax. But we'll be going from a 600 to an 800 to a 1000 to a 1500 to a 2000. And that's all gonna be on the orbital sander with the assistance of this um, Velcro pad. All right, so you can see That's just a mirror. All right. So now basically you can get an idea. Unfortunately, my buffer has broken. So is my power sander. So I'll be taking a trip over to the store. Probably won't be working for the rest of the day, but so that's done. And that's unfinished. So definitely a big difference, I'd say. All right, guys, we are nearing the end here. So I already showed you guys the red. But now I'm going to show you guys, I've done now this white side, which is looking really, really good. You know, luckily the, this guy that owns this boat, because I'm not the owner of this boat, the guy who owns this boat puts a cover on it when it sits in storage. So all of this white fiberglass or all this white gel coat all managed to stay in relatively decent enough shape that I could go ahead and compound it and do a three in one wax. So basically right now we've got a nice ceramic coat wax on this and that's covering both the red and the white. So, I mean, I mean, I don't know this for a fact, but I would assume that this is easily probably at least a year to a two year wax that'll hold. You know, if you keep washing it and stay on top of it, you could probably make it last five years and keep it looking shiny. I will say that I drastically, drastically under quoted this job. And for anybody who's looking to become a boat detail uh, professional, somebody who actually does boat detailing, um, just you know, keep in mind that everything's by the linear foot. And when you start to get into these big projects, it could go your way or it could go the complete opposite, um, which in this case, I'm burned through two full bottles of compound, two full bottles of wax, and I'm still not done. And I've probably burned through another three buffing pads and on top of that my makita buffer took a shit so ended up losing a 300 dollars buffer in this job and a 150 dollars power sander so this has been a learning lesson for me you know i've done boat detailing before but never alone as a professional you know only for friends and you know maybe uh side gigs you know here and there but this will be my first professional boat detailing job and i think it turned out pretty good Why don't you leave a comment down below? Let me know what you guys think. If you guys would do anything differently. If you guys think it doesn't look good, let me know. Um, you know, it's arguable, you know, to say that it doesn't look good, but I'm willing to hear some criticism. So, uh, yeah, let me know, guys, and uh, subscribe, like. Let me know uh, if you guys want to see more boat content or if you guys want to see something different, I've got other truck content coming and racing and I've got all kinds of stuff that I could do. 